And we're live, and it's Ingram and Captain Jack, and we're the Minecrafters. Ooh, Captain Jack just transformed down there. Yeah, just to let you know, uh, you know. Yeah, just, you know. Who I is. <laughs> His little pointy red rapier. Um, all right, so this is what we're doing. We got our little base set up here, and we now have a little, uh, little like, love barn over here. Oh, complete with sliding doors. I didn't even realize that. Are you kidding me? You didn't see those until no. just now? Yeah, these are some dope sliding doors. If only they, no, they don't worked. slide yet. But yeah. No, they don't slide. This is our this is our food barn. We have little hay bales and we have little parties up in here. You know, get some club and we're gonna work on a disco ball. You know, what is this? Oh, he's got poop sewers over there. All right. Oh yeah, that's because I was trying the um, essence berry thing. Oh, which doesn't work. yeah, which doesn't work by the way. Um. And our little farm. And then this is our little house that we've been working on. So, Yeah, the basement was updated, too. I don't know if you want to fly it on here. Oh, yeah, kind of... sure. Oh, it's all... Never mind. <laughs> we gotta, this is no, not a gotta... real entrance anymore. <laughs> this is Ingram the real entrance the through the hole in the floor. <laughs> yeah, we kinda, we're going to work down here as in part of this episode. So we have a little bit of stuff going on down here. I think everything else... Put some capacitor banks over here for our power storage. Um... We kind of wired some stuff all around. If we scroll here, you can see that we got some uh, cabling wired in there. And we're going to do some ME networking today. And we got our power in there as well. So we're going to set... Actually, we'll talk just now about what we're going to try and accomplish for the day. Captain Jack yeah. will lead us through the board. Yeah, we're actually going to try to get some resources finally. Um, so we're going to build a quarry, and then we're going to hook it up to uh, import directly into our ME system. Um, we're going to set up ore processing, so everything that comes in through the quarry will get processed and smelted without uh, us having to do anything. But first, before we do that, we're going to need a growth accelerator to make those pure crystals for applied energistics. And finally, we'll make a controller and some, uh, I think, I don't know what order we're going to do these buses and cards in, but we'll need some um, capacity cards and maybe acceleration cards for our import buses that will be attached to our ender chest Yep. so that our resources can come in at a decent pace without overflowing and backing up. So there we go. That's the goal. So the first thing we have to attack, actually, these growth accelerators are going to allow us to make flux crystals, and our pure flux crystals, actually. And we need those for the controller. And do we need those for the buses? I forget. No, we, we need them for all the cards. Oh, the, the cards, um, that's right acceleration yeah, cards and all that stuff so so we are going to do that first and that'll go so the normal growth time is eight hours and 20 minutes and since nobody wants to listen to a stream that long we're going to make growth accelerators which kind of uh kind of help speed things up yes all right so oh crap Need some i'm gonna go get some water boxes. we're missing a bucket of water oh that was my bad that's all right. I, I had it, two in the I system. I used it outside. Do we have quartz glass still? I kind of hope so. Yeah, there's like seven or eight in there, I think. Okay. Or maybe 11. Okay. So we need some ME glass cable, which, of course, everything and its brother uses these stupid Fluix things. All right. So, one, two, three. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, poop stinks. We brought iron. Are we seriously? Ah, oh, crap. Uh, no, hold on. But, oh, you got that. Put these in the smelt here. How do we run out of iron? That's garbage. Luckily, we pimped these suckers out. So we're going to hook, if you look at my inventory here, too, we're going to hook some sag mills up and some alloy smelters. We're doing a lot of stuff with Ender I.O. this time around because it's, um, it's actually pretty boss. Um, and these things are freaking fast. So, and they're just, now they're just as configurable as, if you remember from the last episode, we were kind of dinking around with this configure IO option. It's actually very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. They used, I feel like they used to have that way back when, but they got rid of it. 
during some point and then brought oh, it back. Maybe it wasn't quite wasn't quite pimped out yet. Because I've wanna, seen it. Where do we want to put this? I didn't really the think of a spot for the accelerators, yeah. I figured down in the basement somewhere. I was just going to ask you the same thing, actually. Maybe we can just put them in the floor over here. For now? For just, yeah, just te just temporary. Okay. I have the water on me, so wherever we want to put them. Okay, so we'll go... Oh, actually, see this giant hole? Yeah, that was the chief building his <laughs> base. Decided to quarry underneath our base. Luckily, he didn't actually quarry out our base, which would have been very, very bad. Okay, so there's... All right, so we'll put the accelerator there, so... Um, why don't you build the accelerators, and I'll build the... I the, have them, the... actually. Oh, okay. Yep, so... All right, we'll keep hollowing out, then. I'm going to do... Actually, I should have left some of those, but what I'm going to do... We need to lay these suckers down, so this is actually... That little black square right there is where the power cable will actually be able to connect. We're going to have to kind of waste some precious cable here on these. but um, These also, thankfully, do not take up uh, channels on your network. They do, however, take a buttload of power. Eh, actually, we're not, not actually really... Actually, not really that much. Nah. I think we're not wanting for power as much as we they're were. Eight, they're 8 AE per tick. Um, total, all of them. Each one of them is two AE. Oh, AE. No. I don't know. It's, yeah, no, um, they're... two MJ per tick, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's it's, it's really a not that AE bad. AE per. Um, right, let me hold on. Don't block this up yet. I'm gonna ball it off. Okay. So we so do have sim. we do have one problem here. What's that? Um, we ain't got power. Oh yeah, that's yeah. We're gonna need to pipe them in here. We should have Thanks. power already, though. No, we don't. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Unless they're charging up. Yeah, I can't see through the walls oh, like oh, you can. Oh, hang on, hang on. You must be missing. Something. That should have done it. Is this, does this conduit not convey power? Okay. That would, that would really suck. All right, so other option, since we don't want to... No, it definitely should. Right? No, wait, maybe Ender I.O. conduit doesn't. That's what I'm saying. That maybe that's what's not doing it. So a solution for that is, can you go make a energy acceptor? Because we have, we have some action right here. We can just... We have no, RF you... all the way down to here. No, why don't we just um, attach regular ME cable to that Ender I.O. cable? I did that. It didn't work. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't... Hold on. That's a new one. It's kind of odd. No, do it. Wait, do it again. Look right here. Oh, you're right. I'm standing huh? on one. It's really whack. Unless, did... did I mess up and not wire this all the way in? Oh, yeah. That's what the problem was. Good grief. Jeepers. I'm in, I'm in a moment of panic here. <laughs> it's like, that should definitely work. Oh, thanks. So what happened was I forgot to put one piece right there. And now, slap some of that there. Boom, there we go. Now we're live. And I have my particles off because I'm a blaze, so it's really annoying. Let me just get the bat for him. Fire bat, that's just as bad. Okay, so we're good to go. Ugh, man. Yeah, so these sparkly things mean it's, it's actually running. So what we're going to do is... Um, we're gonna combine uh, what? Just just the seeds. Right. We combine dust, so we gotta crush down some dust and some sand, just like that. And you get two two of these seeds, and then all you do is you throw these seeds in the water in this pool down here, and they will grow. And I think if we have four of them, it should take about three minutes to do. So it's not too bad. Um. So make sure to make a lot of nether, certus, and fluix quartz crystals. And all those are made by just by doing the dust. So, Captain, you can see is, okay. is grinding yeah, I'll dust have, in I'll here. I'll have 12 of each. Okay. Um, so then while the Captain's doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go downstairs and get our, uh, our quarry set up here. 
So we're going to have this guy, and we're actually going to pipe into our quarry using an ender chest. And I'm just going to put it, um, I kind of dug a little area out here. And what I did, this is going to be a 64 by 64, so I went all the way down there. Um, if you have a lever and a landmark, I'll show you how to do this trick if you don't know this already. Um, you grab a landmark here and turn it on with a lever. And if you follow these blue lines all the way to the end, that is actually where um, its range is. So you just go to the end of this blue line here and slap another landmark down and then you're good to go. Crap, where'd that oh, go? Wow. Did you just steal my landmark, bro? Oh, probably, yeah, I'm sorry. I was just admiring the tunnel you've already clearly built here. <laughs> yeah. That I didn't know that was there. That's right. We're all about efficiency this time around. So there we go. So you can see it makes a giant square. And then what we do is we have um, a quarry here. We'll just slap this sucker right down in the corner. Boom. It's going to keep 20 chunks loaded. I'm just going to go... Um, I'll collect the landmarks later. That's all right. And then what we're going to have to do... Oh, one thing I forgot to do was actually tunnel through the floor for this. So I'm going to have the... Um, the power come down here and we're just going to kind of go for now we'll just do this really really ugly and kind of come straight Let me make sure I'm lining up here we're going to come straight down through here this is just tier 2 energy conduit so it's not the best but we are exceedingly low on ender pearls and it's a major major problem for us right now um, we'll see to solve shortly yeah Okay, so we are going to, let me just go and slap the ender chest before I do that. I need to, uh, I need to get some dandelions out of here. I'm going to try and color this because the, um, the chief also has his quarry running. <laughs> <laughs> Dandelion. So I'm just going to slap some color down on it. And go down back down here. And that quarry isn't running yet because I didn't I didn't finish connecting it to power. So let I'll me know when you hook it up because I need to adjust the control rods of the reactor to account for the extra power consumption. Okay. So see there. Oh, I just that's all right. There we go. So we're gonna do yellow, white, yellow, and then. All right. You wanna you get ready to mess with the the rods i have <clears throat> oh yeah hold on and while he's doing that so what he's going to do is up here all of these control rods are at zero percent because we haven't really needed that much power yet so um we have this thing the power monitor here and it shows us conduit storage so each one of those conduits that we were just laying actually has a little buffer in it this capacitor bank down there in the corner has two million RF storage and then the machine buffers themselves which is all the machines that are currently hooked to the network um, apparently have 11 million and I'm, I'm wondering if that includes yeah it looks like it includes this thing so here we go would you put them at captain I put them all at 80 percent which is like nine times as high as what they were at before so once you start the quarry, I can adjust them down to make sure the power evens out. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure that's a, still a little bit overkill. Okay, so... <clears throat> um, and then I, the other other thing I'll do... Where are you, where should I put this uh, ender chest here? This is going to be our inbound. You'll probably put um, it right over here. For now. Yeah, that's fine. Just so we have access to it, so we can stick stuff right in there if we needed to. Um, not the best spot. But we'll go with well, it. Well, it's right next to the cable, so we can put an import bus next to it. Yeah. We're going to have to use the other cable, too. Oh, actually, I have some of that. So we will connect up some of this action right here. Again, the ugly way for now. And come on, connect. Oh, are you in the way? Can you move your big, ugly head? Thanks. Sorry. No I'll problem. go check the banana farm. Okay. Oh, there's something really strange Whoa. with graphics going on down yep. here. This thing <laughs> is. I don't know what it is. It's the quarry. Oh!
I'm getting sniped down here. What oh my world? goodness, I'm about to die. Whew. That was intense. So for whatever reason, the, I... these quarries do crazy things now. And if we were actually... This is a ridiculous amount of... Oh, Ooh, this like is really blocks close to... per second here. Can this be dialed down? That I do not know. That's but, crazy. Yeah, for every single block that it it does, for every single block that it removes, it throws out one of these little tiny things. It's like yeah, my FPS little... just dropped a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty wild, but you can see it. So what it's going to do is it's going to clear out the top five layers, and I think these quarries now. I thought they put them in here. Maybe not. No, apparently not. All right, so this puppy is about to about to get real. So what I'll do is I'll take this lever here, and I will. I'm actually going to put it next to the quarry, so that we get. This guy, I'm going to turn him to respond to uh, redstone signal if my computer can respond. Active with signal. So there we go. So now this will only connect power if the if the lever is actually on. Um, and of course, this thing is a buffer, so we got to contend with that. But here it goes. All right, I evened out the reactor, so it's it's um, positive gain still. Okay. All right. So this thing is actually going to take a lot longer than I realized because it's got <laughs> it's got to clear out of 64 by 64 before oh, it can even crap. start mining. That's all right. I made a bunch of uh, crystals so we can start on. Okay. The controller and stuff. I actually don't have a lot of Fluix crystals right now, so I need to make a few of those. Is there anything growing in here yet? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, there's already a couple peers in here. Yeah, there should be some. I I grew a whole bunch of uh, the other kind. I have fourteen pure um, nether quartz and a bunch of pure certus quartz. Okay. I just need to make more fluix. <clears throat> okay. I think I'll make some more fluix. So I have two pure fluix in my inventory now. Oh, which... the FPS of that quarry is. <laughs> Abysmal. Horrible. <laughs> Wait, can you do you see outside the base what this kind of? Oh yeah, let's check causing? this out. This yeah, is it's ridiculous. It's really bad. I I'm not sure why they did this. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. But there's got to be a way to disable that. That's awful. It's awesome though. And if you yeah, notice, well, if you look at what they're doing, they're actually laying down in rows. Corresponding to the blocks that are being removed underneath the ground. Look at this. This is insane. It's just like spewing blocks everywhere. That is hilarious. <laughs> it's so bad. Thankfully, it hasn't impacted my FPS at all. Which oh, I, I, can't I can't believe. I'm feeling the burn a little bit right now. <laughs> it's just like vomiting out. So there's your Good quarry. Good answer, <laughs> Come on out, Saddam. Oh, who is this ghast? Oh. Good grief. That's good. <laughs> Alright. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so. Let's see. A little over in the banana trees. All right, so we have. Yeah, let's kind of line up our uh, our machines down here. So this hole, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the controller in there, and we're gonna have a problem with um, the ME channels that we have available. So without a controller, you can only do eight channels, right? And with a controller, you can do 32 channels per side. But unfortunately, we're gonna have a problem where we don't have dense cable. Oh man, I missed I missed one of these here too. Let me just take it out of the end. So the power gonna... lines? No, I, the ME cable. When I rerouted this stuff, for whatever reason, I missed the whole. I missed these corners. Okay. Missed the boat. All right, 
So there we go. So this main ME line connects back to our, our main network there. So <laughs> this thing's just spitting crap through the floor. That is ridiculous. Um. Okay. So what else we got here, Captain? Um, uh, I don't know. I'm just making more seeds. Pooping, pooping Poop out seeds. some seeds in there. Yeah. Um. All right. So now we need the next thing we're gonna have to do is get an import bus. Um. Which I think we might actually have one. Yeah, I made three imports and three exports, which might be one Perfect. short of each. So what we'll do is we'll go back down to the floor and we're gonna hook that ender chest up to the network here. And we're gonna do that like so. Slap an import bus on the bottom by shift clicking. And then I only have ME smart cable, which is fine. But there we go. So see, we're already starting to have, um, we're already kind of running out of channels here, but as soon as we add our controller, we'll be all right. But what this thing's now gonna do, oh my goodness. It's going to be slow. It's going to be so slow. So it's never going to keep up with the um, with the quarry, which is unfortunate. So what we're going to have well, to do is put some cards in there. Yeah, we should have enough in just a second, or already, actually. Do we have enough diamond for those cards? I, um, so we need I think so. I just mined a bunch of diamond. Okay. So what we're going to do is have some of those... Um, ME advanced cables uh, and a banana cable actually <laughs> and it's gonna be ME oops crap advanced cards I'm sorry not cables and for that unfortunately we need a calculation process we need a ton of diamonds for this stuff so we're gonna have to make oh do we have pure certus quartz crystals already that's what I've been making, dog. Oh yeah, we've been done. Got twenty foul. Yeah, I All got right. the press in there already to go to boss mode. Okay, so we got to put a whole bunch of these in there. Oh, let me do them one at a time. This piece of crap. All right, should automate that next time. Actually, we will automate that next time. Matter of fact. So I think we can put what four or five. Accelerators in there. That in the window. Uh, what do we got? Come here. Let's uh, see. Maybe it's gone. All right. Okay, so we have a bunch of these, and yeah, the next stage. Is we're gonna, oh my goodness, these this one at a time thing is just obscene. Yeah, I'll have to automate this garbage. Yeah, so we need now to make a full fledged circuit here, and we're gonna have to do printed silicon and redstone. So, silicon you remember is clay, and the sag mill gets a silicon, and then we can put these in here with. So, I got silicon going already. Yeah, I saw. I actually pilfered already. So redstone. And... There we go. So this will get us actually two advanced cards, which is pretty good. And a banana card as well. And we're going to have <laughs> the calculation processor goes with diamond. Hopefully you have a diamonds, man. About to find out. Yup. Did you take them all already? No. Well, I took the whole stack when I was just oh, making I was the recipe. Say. So Found advanced. A uh, crap. Here we go. Iron and more redstone. Hopefully, I didn't get rid of all my redstone. No. Here we go. And then iron. Oh, we're gonna run into problems with iron here, Captain. That's alright. That's why we got the quarry going. Yeah, but. We not about to be able to make that quarry. Okay, so we have. Let me just make one more of these so we can have four, because <clears throat> that thing's really gonna have a problem. Let's see. Printed this and this. 
My little UI thing for the charging up is kind of busted. Oh, crap. In this pack for whatever reason. The did you scooters. take out those silicon press things that I had? Um, I Yeah, I did. Sorry. Okay. That's all right. I just... I'll put them in the ME network. Okay. So I have four, um, four advanced cards. Now we just need to make them acceleration cards. And I really can't remember this recipe. This is so bad. Sorry They're pretty this, complicated, folks. so... Oh, <laughs> it's actually freaking easy. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Well, like to get from this one, from the get, from the advanced to the faster one. There we go. <clears throat> so now each of these cards, I forget exactly how much they speed it up by, but it says how many you can put in in the import export bus right on the card. And if I think go... it's eight time or eight per. No, it's not eight per. It's it's four equals sixty four. Or four equals a stack, maybe? So then it's 16 per... 16, yeah, it's 16, okay. So there we go. So that'll pull out a stack a second, which is going to be critical when, when this thing stops vomiting red blocks, which it is still doing merrily. What the heck? Oh, man, there's a creeper. Oh, donkey. I'm about to cleave that sucker. There's a creeper right by our quarry. Good for him. Probably should have put some stinking torches up there. Would have been intelligent of us. Oh, where'd all my baked potatoes go? I've been done eating them. There we go. Where's that creeper? Oh, there you are. All right, do you have enough cards and stuff? Oh my goodness, to make God, this junk work. Yeah. There's this little tot guy down here. Do oh, not come <laughs> down here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, gee. Or whoever I that almost was, set Captain. him off. I just fell directly down the stairs. <laughs> uh. Wow. This is like contested battle zone down here. I'm about to die. Ah! Uh. Alright. I got him. I got him. This guy's got gold. Avenge armor. me. Oh, I can have gold pants now. Oh, yeah. What is this gravestone I can harvest here? No! <laughs> Where's my gravestone? Oh, this thing is still clearing space? Yeah, piece of crap. It's almost done. It's on the last layer. I hope you're aware that it just cleared space underneath the basement of my uh, barn house over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did it clear the floor of your barn? It cleared the, the, the bottom level, or the bottom two levels of my barn. Oh my word. Okay. Mobby. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of creepers, bro. Dude, I know. There's so it's many. It's time to bounce. Oh, there's my gravestone. This thing is still creating horrifying FPS. It's about to change. With one it's more layer. It's all about here. to change. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, it kind of looks cool, except, except also. Whoa. Oh, man. Whoa. I got, like, warped to safety. We gotta put some light bulbs in there. Oh, come on. Well, that's creepers. what I was trying to do, but I keep getting exploded. There's, I like, got a warped million outside. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, so... Oh, there's a creeper. Oh. What the junk? Oh, the basement of my. Is that place. a banana I'm... creeper? Or is that a real creeper? Uh, I will... <laughs> I'm 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 I won't scared. Be able to, to finish the basement of my farmhouse with this stupid quarry going until it's done. I'm scared. <laughs> this is not a, a max size, is it? Is this 64? Oh yeah, baby. Is it really? Yep. Maybe it seems small compared to Q pluses. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, do we have Q pluses in this pack? Um, no, but we have the Ender Quarry ones, which are actually faster. Really? If you can believe that junk. So, here right. we go. Let's check our Ender Chest now. When the quarry is live, uh, bloop. Hopefully it's a lot faster than that when it sucks them in, but... That's dog slow. No, those are my potatoes! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally put it's, my potatoes in there. 
it's still got a bunch more layers to go. It's still working on it. All right. So let's see what's our next thing while we're waiting for that idiot thing to go. There, there's charged Certus Quartz right underneath our base. Just Whoa! to let you know that. What is going on with these explosions, bro? That that was that was me. Oh, I'm having like a heart attack. It shook my screen. Where the heck were you? I was not right underneath Whew. you. All right, so let's pimp that controller out. We can just slap that sucker around while we're waiting for this thing. All right, let's let's roll because we're at about a half an hour right now. So uh, we gotta wrap this wrap this up. All right, let's get the controller going. Do you have a controller? What son? Not no. really. You built one. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we need another engineering circuit. Did we just make some of those? No, I don't think we did. Those are diamond. Diamondo. So the benefit of the controller, while Ingram is building that, is that we get 32 channels per side of the controller. So it's 32 times 6. And in order to take advantage of all 32 per, we would need dense cable. But for right now... We don't need dense cable. Just need holy crap. We haven't even got to our ore processing. Oh, don't even worry about we were, it. We're supposed to do that in this episode. Don't even worry about it. Episode four <laughs> or five or whatever <laughs> episode it will be. No, we'll we'll get it done. We got all, all right, stuff. Let's go. Make let's some. Go. Make more import buses. Make export buses. Actually, that's what Why we need a crap more? out of. Huh? Do you have export buses already? I have three at least. Okay, what about some of those Fluix crystals? Dude, I need I need two more pure Fluix crystals. Plenty of Fluix crystals. What the crap is this thing? But what the? Somebody plugged our some, hole. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody nerd pulled into my hole. I hate it when my hole gets plugged. Get out of the water, son. All right, I got sixteen pure Fluix crystals. Okay, so put in some the... in this one right here. Put them in the remaining two spaces. This will get us our controller. And then, let's see, our export buses. Can you make some... Oh, these are going to suck. Can you make some um... <sighs> uh, fuzzy cards? Or uh, expansion cards, I'm sorry. All right. Why is it not letting me take that out of there? I don't know. Am I lagging? There we go. That was That was wild. Wait, an expansion card? Yeah. A, a capacity card, you mean? Yeah, whatever. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this thing right in there. Like, bagalow. And... Oh, crap. This just... This should... If we notice here, we are now using no channels. Blah, blah. And that's what we want. And we're only using one channel up here. Sweet. Sweden! And then, so what we're going to have to do is branch off of these for our quarry processing. Now, we have an advantage here. So we're going to take, um, how should we do this? You know, it would be Let's nice to right see here. What? what these presses actually were when they're on the drying racks. I know. I can't tell the difference between them still. It's because you a noob. Well, whatever. Rookie cells. All right, so we're gonna put a um, a sag mill on top, and then an alloy smelter on the bottom. Actually, the way I originally had this set up, let's just do them on oh. the side. Yeah, well, it yeah it will auto export, so we need less um export buses. If we went into a chest. You want to just do that? I don't care what we do. Okay, so get a regular wooden chest, actually. Hold on, I'm making your cards. And, oh, you know what? We're going to have a problem with that because... They, um... We're going to have to make it look ugly, and I don't like things that look ugly. We'll just go... So what we'll do is we'll put these side by side instead of, instead of up and down. That'll actually give us a few more configuration options too. So we're gonna put a sag mill. Let me see, we got two of these per side. So boom, boom, yeah. We'll put a sag mill here, right next to an alloy smelter, and a sag mill, noise. and an alloy smelter. And then, 
Uh, let me swap these, actually. And we'll rotate this side. So it'll sag mill into the alloy smelter. And we're going to configure I.O. We're going to say um, push out into that side. And on this guy, pull in there. And whoops. <laughs> push there. Put these in all smelting mode for now. All smelting out and make this side an any. And then this guy. So these are going to push into each other. So this sag mill here is going to push into this alloy smelter. And then we're going to have a chest in the middle so that we only need one import bus, which is going to save us some resources. You know you can make grandfather clocks now? With Bibliocraft stuff, that's pretty sweet. Just <laughs> noticing that as I'm boring my eyes out making calculation processors. <laughs> <laughs> You're suffering. Uh, so this will actually use less channels um, than before, which is good. So that only uses one channel. We're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to put export buses here. And we are going to then take ore and put it in the export bus. And then that's going to come into the sag mill and get ground up and then go into the um, smelter. Smelters are going to push into a chest, which we're going to then have um, as soon as we get. I need a chest. Captain, do you have a chest up there? Um, hold on. I'm making your cards here. Oh, okay. And look at our, our quarries running, actually, too. Oh, we have no iron. Uh. I can't make my cards. Crap. Oh, hold on. No, there's 28 pulverized iron in here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. To the rescue. That This is uh, reason number one why we need a quarry. <laughs> um, what was I doing? Oh, stone. I mean, uh, wood. And I'm going to go bink and dink dink. Okay. So then we're going to only need one import bus with each of these. What the heck? Make all sorts of noises. And this will import into our ME system. And this is only going to actually... Why is that not connecting? Oh, I got to actually put a cable there. Wait, what's more important? And a capacity card or an acceleration card? I think um, Capacity X cards. For what we're doing, capacity, big time. Because we can only, right now, export one block. And a capacity card, I think two of them, will get us the whole 9x9 nine nine grid. So we can yeah, put but, all the ore in there. Yeah, but if we want to intake into our system, don't we need an acceleration card to nah. accelerate it by 16 No, per, not for this. Block? It'll never pump out that fast. I mean, you could do one. It wouldn't hurt. So one import bus, ex importing one block at a time will be enough to keep up with our quarry? Yeah. Our you processing? Sure? Maybe. No, I'm talking about sucking in from the ender chest. Oh, it's got four in there already. I already put four acceleration cards in it. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, son. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you had all those already. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah, we're so... just doing uh, ore processing downstairs now. So then what we're going to do on the other side is the exact same setup. We're going to go um, sag, saggy bottom to chest. Okay, I have four capacity cards then. Okay. I'll give them to you. You can do it at wherever you need them. Do with them as I please. Yeah. And, oh, this is going to... I actually need more cable. Ow, oh, poop. I put this all off by one. Dang it. You want Ender IO cable? Um, no, you can make smart cable. It's fine. That was dumb of me. I'm just going to shift these down by one because it's all about symmetry at the end of the day. Dink. Crap. Dink. Dink. And I'm missing a sag mill somewhere. Oh, it's floating right there. Um, so one space, and then this guy. 
and then saggy bottom smelter chesticle alloy sag and then my export my import that'll go right there and we're gonna do the exact same thing what we did on the other side there Ooh, look at him getting all this advanced networking. Yeah. Nice. What got you that achievement, just out of curiosity? Uh, I don't know. The uh. smart cable? I don't know why it would. I already made stuff. I done like a lick of sands. So there right, you go. I just gave you a bunch more smart cable too. Thank you. Okay, so two cards, and I just shift click those in, and it puts the max in for us. Two of those cards is going to get us um, a 9x9 nine nine grid of export. Now, this, these export buses are actually smart enough to know all... They're like ore dictionary. So if we look for iron... Oh, man. What ore do we have? This kind of sucks. Let's do gold. Well, iron is like vanilla. So. Copper. It's copper, tin, and weird ores that... Well, I was kind of hoping fuzzies. we had, actually... Um, some ore to uh, iron ore to actually make but we got the shaft so we're gonna put some of these in here so we'll put gold copper and that side and then oh so you can see these are already worn so what it's gonna do is it's gonna stick gold ore in there and it's kind of slow but it'll actually cook it out and those are going to come in here, and as soon as they're done cooking in here, we're going to need some um, capacitors too, Captain. But then those nuggets go in here, and then they get sucked back out into our ME system. So there you go. That's you how we set up uh, processing. Do you have the quarry shut off? No. Oh, it's, it's working, but hold on. Oh, Captain. Oh, sorry. You smoked me, bro. I'm only semi-sorry, actually. <laughs> um... It's like mining stuff, but it's not. Is it run out of power? Um, Whew, I didn't see anything coming in on the ender chest. That's what made me check it. We'll deactivate this sucker. We got way more power than we need right now. Um, I mean, we got stuff coming in. It's filling up in our. Is it really? It was. You color coded the ender chest. Down below, right? Yep. Yeah, I can't see anything coming in from the quarry. Maybe it's because you built it. Oh, maybe it's because I got pasted down in this hole. <laughs> that was fighting the hordes of mobs. Why didn't... Um, why is this... Yeah, it's going. Okay. Oh my goodness. Because you can see... You can see the arm moving and drilling out blocks. It's slow yeah, as crap. The problem is I don't... Oh, okay, I can see in the top ender chest, but not in the bottom. I don't know why that's the case, but okay. So we're good to go. Yep. I can also hear people snow blowing Ooh. my um, my sidewalk, which is amazing. <laughs> because suck. I don't have to do it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> During this massive blizzard. Oh, my word. Can you come avenge my death, even though you <laughs> caused it? Hold on. This guy's I ran like out of sweet potatoes again. I'll give you some sweet potatoes. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, avenge me. Alright, I'm avenging. Okay. Alright. Got your back. Well, thanks, Doug. Whoa, what the heck did I just... <laughs> what the heck just happened? There's That's... so many guys down here. Oh. I can't believe this drilled into the bottom of my farm. I spent so much time on that. <laughs> sorry. Me so sorry. All right, so have you set up ores? Because uh, yeah. that's about it for episode. Whatever that's it, this folks. Episode is. Ores. I totally just put them in the wrong chest, but there they go. Boom, Eulorium. Oh, nice. Boom, cooking that junk. So the cool thing about sag mills too is they have a bunch of side products that they can produce. So there's, you know, you get the occasional cobblestone. Um, they have chances to double the amount of original output. There's a lot of cool stuff about them. So this thing will burn three at a time and stick it in the chest. And this thing is able to handle. So there we go. 
That's it. We got our ore processing all set. Nice. Yoink. That's so, it. We uh, actually we'll made it more, through. Well, yeah, we'll run a few more quarries and uh, get a bunch of resources, and we'll really be able to uh, step up our game here pretty soon. Yeah, start automating a little bit more of this stuff, get a little bit of a better system here, network system, and then uh, we're going to look at how to do some uh, auto crafting here, get some of these things, um, get some automatic yes. recipes and stuff set up. For, for sure. We actually need to do that immediately. Probably the next episode, actually, set up yep. auto crafting. I'm thinking. So, boom. All right, folks. We actually we actually made it through. How do we do on time, Captain? 45 minutes. Holy crap, folks. <laughs> it's a record. We better quit now while we are ahead. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you had a, a banana of a time. And uh, we will see you at a later date. Stay poised. Stay poised.